Hi, this is Everett uh, in my studio, my brand new studio, which I started today. And I'm here with uh, Simply uh, Drawing with Everett. And uh, welcome uh, welcome aboard if this is your first time. This is my first broadcast. Uh, I'm broadcasting to uh, throughout the U.S. and around the world. And I'm in my studio with my wife, Gloria, this evening. Hello. And uh, we're just going to sit here and do a, have a little quiet time, a relaxation. Uh, the purpose of this time together at 7.30 on Thursday evening uh, is just to relax, uh, have a little quiet time. I'm going to do some little drawing. I want you, I'd like to have you draw along with me. And uh, I'll show you some of the simple supplies you need. And we're going to do a simple subject tonight. But then we're going to relax about it and so forth. So really get a comfortable position. You should be in a sitting position or and onto a table. Uh, you should have some pencils and maybe some paper. I'll show you what I'm using. And then uh, be in a relaxing area and uh, just kind of uh, close your mind about other things. Relax. Uh, do a couple of deep breaths. Nice, slow, deep breathing. Uh, loosen up the uh, wrists and fingers. And uh, get the muscles relaxed. Okay, so I'm going to take you over to uh, uh, our subject. Oh, before I go any further, let me show the subject tonight, we're going to do a cup, a coffee cup. Okay? Now, it depends on what angle you look at this, what you can do. I can do an up, uh, up real close like this. I can turn it around. I can turn it upside down if I wanted to. I can have all kinds of angles. So there's all kinds of ways to look at a particular subject. I'm going to, when I show you the picture I took, uh, it's going to be pretty standard. But when I, when I talk about sighting, what I'm, what I'm talking about very important, is when you sight something, for example, this object here, uh, take, take a, a known subject like your pencil, and what I want you to do is hold your arm at, at arm's length and measure the distance, say for example, the, the height of the object. In this case, uh, you, you put your finger where the tip of the, the pencil is and, and mark it, all right? That's, that's how high it is, and then compare that with the width and that'll give you a comparison of just, just basically how you're going to start your drawing. So I want you to measure from the top to the bottom and from the side to the side, all the way to the outside of the handle. Side to side and top, and the back side, the back side, top to bottom. Okay, so let's start that. Now I'm going to put the photograph on and I'm going to start drawing and uh, uh, Okay, on the left-hand side is the uh, object. Over here on the right, I'll show you what I'm using. I've got uh, three. I've got three pencils here. I'm using. I'm using a HB, which is a, a light pencil. A late HB is like a number two, a number two lead. That'll be what I start the drawing with. Make a, a light mark. Then I have a two B, which is a softer lead. A two B lead, uh, and I'm going after I get the light. After I'm happy with the uh, initial marks. Then I'm going to darken it up with a 2B. And then I have a 4B, which is a darker lid, a 4B. And that's where I can put in some shadows and maybe, uh, you see the shadows down here at the bottom of the, of the cup and so forth. I can add in some dimension to the, to the object. And so we'll play around with that. And I also have a, a stump here. It's called a, it's called a blending stump. And this stump is, helps will blend the, uh, the graphite on the paper and give us a nice smooth shading, okay? So that's all that is, okay? And uh, hopefully you don't need it in tonight's drawing, but you have a little, a little uh, portable pencil sharpener to keep your lead, keep your lead sharp. And uh, I even have an eraser with me in case uh, you want to erase some of the beginning lines and to smooth out the drawing. Now, the actual drawing material itself is a piece of paper. Uh, what I'm using now is my visual journal. And uh, this visual, visual journal measures about five by eight. Now, if that's a little too, I might have the mic up a little high. Bring it down, okay. And uh, so it's five by eight journal, and it uh, it's a uh, it's it's for mixed media. I can use pencils and crayons and uh, watercolor pencils and even watercolors on this. So. Uh, it should be uh, okay. 
So I'm going to put I'm going to put the pad. I'm going to select the page here. Now I'm on two cameras. I got one camera with the photograph on, and I, the second camera is my overhead camera, which I'm going to use for drawing. So I'm going to position my pad right here and look at the same same drawing you see. Okay. Now I'm going to start with the H the HB pencil, and I uh, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to measure. As I said, a measure across from side to outside of the handle. And then I'm going to measure from top, the top lip in the back, to the bottom of it. And, I, and my measurements show that they're equal. Now, did you measure that? Did you get the, uh, did you take the pen, pencil and measure from side to side and then turn the pencil and go from top to bottom? From the back of the top of the lip there to the bottom. And my measurements showed that these, these measurements were about equal. So what I can start with, I can start with basically a, a square format, and that's what I'm looking for. So and I'm going here's how big I'm going to make my uh, my drawing. So I, I will pick. Uh, I'm taking a light pencil. I'm going to mark across here, and I'm like I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm just going to measure this just the way I look at it, and I'm going to come across here and uh, pick a mark, and then come down here and pick another mark. So that's about that's about equal to a square. All sides are equal. And that's a pretty easy format, a square format. Okay. And double check yourself. Say uh, the square is about uh, this size, and then you'll measure it upside. That's about the, that's a square. I measured the from left to right, and now I'm, moving, now I'm measuring from top to bottom, and that's exactly a square. Okay. So that's that's the rough square, and I'll bring it up to the close up here. You can see here I'm, I'm, I marked out a, a square. There's distance from the top to bottom and a distance from side to side. So that's what I call sighting. When you're sighting an object or you're going to draw something, you want to get the actual size or proportion. So once I get the outline or basic outline a parameter, the dist the uh, the height and the width. Now I start looking at uh, the pieces around. Okay, so I look at the uh, I'm looking at the handle. The handle which starts out here and moves in, I'll, I'll measure the handle width from the there. And it's uh, two. Yeah, that width is one. It's almost a third. So really, you can just take a big guess here. Just about a third of the distance, not quite a third, about a third of the distance is where the handle comes in. And we go back and I can measure that again. So again, with my arm extended, I'm going to measure, I'm going to measure the distance on the inside of the handle, and then move over and measure it against the body of the of the cup. One, two. Yes, I get one third. So basically, one third. And you can measure this with our measure this down on the paper. Make sure your marks are one third. One, two, three. Okay. So I am going to make my edge of my cup now one third in to from the left side. So if I'm drawing the cup now, if I'm drawing, I'll show I'll show you up close. If I'm drawing the cup now, I'm taking the I'm going to dark. I'll darken this in as I find. If I'm happy with the mark, I'll I'll, I'll mark it darker. So what I've done is from the from the right side. Where the handle is, I moved in. I measured this, and that's one third. That's one third the distance of here to here. Okay. All right. This distance here, which is the handle, is one third the distance from here to here. Okay. So this is a third. This is where the handle is. This is where the cup body is, right here. Okay. So that's the first real measurement you have to be uh, cognizant of is just how how much of a how much is space is the cup and how much space is the handle. All right, now let's work on the curve, the curvular part. Uh, before I make any dark mark, you'll see the dark marks in a moment. I'm just going to we're going to get the parameters marked down. Just get the we're going to get the major the major parts or components. So now go ahead, measure. I'm going to measure the. I'm going to measure the opening of the top of the cup, and I'm going to measure that with the rest of the with the bottom of the cup. One, 
too. That's, that's about a third also. Now, this is going to work out pretty nice. So what I did here was I took the measurement. I'll, make, I'll mark it first. One. And that's a third, about a third. Okay. So what I've done now is I've taken... I've measured from the back of the cup lip to the forward. That's about that mark there. And that was about a third of the way down. What I did was I measured, I measured the, uh, I measured that position with the pencil, and then I went ahead and made the same measurements. Okay, so now I can go ahead and draw in that circular, uh, and then and I'll, then I'll start darkening things up. Things will, once once I get the the main parts, and I'll slow down, and we'll go over it. Well, I'll review it again. But right now I want to get the major shape, and we'll review it again. Uh, this is a, this is not a circle. This is an oval. So you don't want to make it a circle. You want to, it has to have a curve to it, but it has an oval. Now, right here. Now, the back of the cup's got to be here, because I measured from the back of the cup forward. Now it's starting to look. Now it's starting to look just about right. This this curve here will come up and about right here. It'll be an oval. Right now, and it's a rough, it's a rough uh, curve right now until we get it smoothed out a little bit. Okay, so that's the top of the cup. Now the bottom of the cup can start down here, and we're going to use approximately. You know, the bottom. This will be. Hmm, we don't want to guess at that. Let's say. Uh, uh, we can. From here, up to here. Just a moment. I, I'm making I'm making some estimates here. This is going to be that's about a half of that. I don't. It's not a third. It's probably about a sixth. So I'm going to bring mine up about a sixth of that area. This is this is a trial. This is going to be a trial. Uh, that's a little bit too much. This curve here. It's got to look like it's got to look like the photo. It's got to look like the photograph uh, or the picture. Or it won't look right. Okay. All right. So what I've what I've drawn so far is once I got the dimension of the cup, then I then I measured the uh, the distance here between the back of the lip, back of the cup to the front part of the lip of the cup, the rim, the front rim, and then that distance was one third of this distance here. So I went one, two, three. Right, that gives me the that gives me the dimensions of this circle. It's not a circle. It's an o. It's a. It's an oval shape. Oval shape. It has curves to it, but it's oval. All right. Then down at the bottom, I'm estimating that the. From the bottom of the uh, from the bottom of the cup up to the edge of the handle, is not quite as far as this one. It's about half that distance. So I'm using six as my first guess at it. We can always make you can always make changes after you get the drawing a little further along. That's why we have an eraser. That's why we're, we're marking it with a light pencil, light pencil first. Okay, so now let's put the handle in. What I've estimated here now is the handle will start over here where I've I've got this and it goes out. All right, now the handle is pretty easy. Uh, it goes out straight. It curves up. I'm, I'm looking at the outside edge of the hand. Look, looking at the outside edge of the handle. This comes down. This is a little bit straighter. This is a little bit straighter here. So I'm going to make this a little bit straighter. Then it starts to curve right here. It starts to curve right here. And then it goes out. Now, if we look at the if we look at the uh, where the uh, look at the lip and where the position of the handle starts, it's pretty close to that angle. It's just a little bit below that, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit from the from the front lip. So here I'm trying to get an association of position, where this position is, the uh, where the handle starts is a little bit lower than this. So we're going to start the hand. This, now this that's the inside edge. Now the outside edge goes further up. 
Now, when we get this drawing, when we get the drawing done, or pretty well done, you know, it's not going to be exactly like the photograph. It's going to be, uh, our, be our perception. It's a perception. It's not really a true uh, copy of what is there. It's a perception of what you see there. And this inside, now the inside curve, uh, there's, there's really three things, there's really three positions. There's the outside edge, which comes here. Let's see, the inside will be there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try a curve here first. Let's try this. I'm going to try an experimental curve. Let's see how this looks. This comes down. It'll come down straight. And then it comes in uh, this angle here. Okay. And the way I look at it right now, this, this may have to come down just a little bit more right here. This, may, this bottom part may have to come down a little bit more. Okay, now let's take a look, now let's take a look at the rough. This is a rough, rough drawing of the handle. Uh, I got this position because it's, a, it's above, if I move across here, it's above this point here. If you look at the, draw, if you look at the picture, this point is above this point here. And this point here, which is the start of the handle, is below this point here. So this is this really is between this and this. And I got the outside curve pretty well. And then the inside curve uh, is going to have to be a little bit shorter. Because it gets a little bit uh, thicker at the top. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit, just a little tad, just a tad. Bring that in. Bring this down, and I think the bottom here is going to have to be a little bit wider. Okay, all right. Okay, so the rough outline of the cup is going to be pretty close to that. Pretty close to that. I've got the, the size of the cup, the dimension. I got the handle on there and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to darken it in. I'm going to take my uh, 2B pencil. This is 2B. Now I'll use the 2B pencil to do to do my final mark. So what I'm going to do is do an outline now, and I'm going to put a darker mark in. So this is 2B now. It's going to be a, a little more pressure on the lead. It's a darker lead, so I don't have to press that much harder. But it, it'll be darker anyway because of the of the darker lead in the pencil. Then I'm going to come around, and again I'll check my I'll check my photograph there and see if it looks my perception of what it looks like. My angle, what I'm looking at, brings it over here, and the curve the curve on the the curve on the cup is straight here, and then it starts to curve up. And it goes out, it, it curves up to the outside of this, remember the original measurement we took of this, of the width. You don't want to go beyond that point. You don't want to get it so far out. that it, You don't want to get too far apart. You want to keep it within that box that we started with as measuring. Because that's the overall profile of the, of the object. The overall profile was, was a square profile. Okay, now let's go in. Um, We'll go in and get the inside of the uh, this handle right here. I can mark that in, and let's see if I can get the inside of that. This is curves. It's got a it's got a nice little curve here. See the bottom of it is straight, but the t this top part go is got a little curve to it right here. It's got a little curve, then it comes around. And I'm, I'm looking at I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the curve on the on the actual object, and I'm trying to uh, replicate that curve that I see. That's the serve. I see it curved here at the top. So that brings that around here. Now there's a little there's a little edge. I want to put that in right now while I'm here. There's a little edge here on the edge of the cup. If you can see on the in the photograph. Uh, the 
is three-dimensional. You, uh, you have a side and a front of this, of this part right here. A side and a front. That will give it dimension. And I'll bring that up there just a little bit. Okay. And now the top of the top we pretty well marked up uh, in in the in the rough already. Right. I like the way that turned out. So I'm going to make sure it's an oval. And uh, an oval is a continuous curve. It's it's not a circle, but you have to have a continuous curve on. It has to have a and it's a ovals are very interesting. If you look at a circle at an angle, it becomes an oval. That's all it is. So you could take a circle and make an oval out of it by, by just changing the angle where you, where you look at it. And I'll bring this around. Okay. Now the top of that, the difference here we can make, any, if there's any difference here at the side, that can be the top of the cup because there's a lip and I can, I can kind of draw that in right now. There's a little lip around the edge of the cup I can put that in just to add a little, maybe a little detail at this point. Add the edge of the cup. That's the uh, edge of the, uh, the top of the cup. And there's an edge here. Okay. Uh, there's, there's not much room here on this drawing to do much of a shadow, but there's a little shadow at the bottom here. We might as well put that in. The shadow starts at the bottom back here, wherever the light source is. So the light's coming across here. There's a shadow on the inside. And I want to pick that up. There's a shadow that comes in here about one third of the way in. It's a shadow. See the light, and I'll mark it here. What I do when I draw, do a drawing, I mark, I mark an arrow. I mark an arrow showing the, uh, the direction of light. The light's coming from here down. From here down. Okay? And this is the shadow right here on the back of the cup, on the back edge of the cup. And uh, if you have if you have a chance if you do if you finish this and you want to uh, uh, share it with one of my one of group with me and my uh, some of my groups I have fun with watercolors page uh, on uh, Facebook and uh, I can share a link with you with that uh, okay I'm, I was working on the shadow down here this shadow comes around it's not not a, much room we have, but we can get part of it. The shadow comes around here. What what does the shadow defines the object a lot better? It gives you a little bit of dimension. Uh, it gives you a little bit of uh, information about uh, the lighting. And uh, to me, shadows are very interesting. Every, every time you you put a light on an object, you're going to get a different view. You're going to get a different shape. Change change the light source, and you got a different a different shape. So I'm going to just draw a part of it in, the part that I see, or I can draw. And there's a little bit of shadow coming up here, where the shadow is going through the uh, handle. And then the shadow kind of disappears up here at the top. It, not much. I mean, I can show just a little bit of it. It comes around and kind of disappears off the edge. And I'll show just enough of that. Okay, so I'm going to use now. I'm going to use my third pencil now. This is the this is the uh, this is the two B, a four B. Okay, so the four B, I'm going to put a little shadow. I'm going to put the shadow of the inside of the of the cup, and when I when I shade, I use the side of the pencil. I use the side of the pencil. Uh, when I do a shading, I'll use I'll use the, the side of the, the side of the lead, and I'll, I'll start out very lightly, and I'll get darker. And darker if I want to. And I can add another layer on top of that to make it darker. But I, sh I shade with the edge of the pencil, not the point. The point gives you too much of a, a, a mark. You don't want to do that. You, shading, you want to cover an area. So you want to use the edge of the, the side of the pencil lid. So what I'll do is I'll put some, what I do, it's like putting a paint on a painting. You put a little bit of paint on this painting. I'm putting a little bit of lead or graphite. I put a little bit of graphite. And then I take the blender now. Take the I take the yeah, take the blender 
And now I go in and I blend. I do the blending. Okay, so that that's the now what I'm going to do now is I didn't want I don't want a sharp edge there. So I'm going to what I'm going to do, I got the edge here, but I want to gradually use the use the graphite that's there. And I want to blend that out just a little bit. So I have I have a gradation. And I don't have a sharp edge there because there isn't much of a there isn't much of a sharp edge. And kind of blend it away. The only edge that shows, the only shadow part that shows is right here where the light is, a, is a hitting the edge of this cup. The rest of it just kind of fades away. Uh, the other part of the shadow, let me use the 4B again. Uh, you may get the 4B and go down here at the bottom and put a little bit of uh, graphite down here. Put it underneath. This is the shadow that's going along the... Uh, and it was, there was a little bit. Of, there was a little bit of shadow inside the handle. So the shadow will help define the uh, the shape. It'll give you a little light and dark area that will will define some of the edges. The edges of the object are the most important part of the drawing. The edges. The edges is what describes the object. And edges are defined by the shadow, by the different value. So that here, even using a graphite pencil, we can get a pretty good idea of the shape. Now I'm going to take the uh, st uh, the blender now and blend out that shadow a little bit. Now it, this is I'm making it darker than it really is on the photograph, but I just want to demonstrate here that the shadow would define the edge of that object. And then the handle, there's a little bit of shadow around this light coming through the handle. And if you're going to do this, if you're going to do this, if you were going to do this again, you could use a, you could use a bigger paper, size paper, and, and make the make the picture larger. But this was enough to get the uh, enough to draw the photograph of the the cup shape. Okay. And you you can move your drawing around as you as your uh, you can move the drawing around as you're blending. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no rules that say you can't move your drawing. Okay. And uh, so I take a look at that and I say, okay, I think I got I think I got it. Now now the only cleanup time you have, we got a few more minutes here, is you take the eraser, and you can erase. You can erase all the cons all the construction marks. Okay, the little the straight lines you made with the with the box, you can erase that. So that's what the eraser comes in for, and you can erase some of the. Uh, I, I put in some uh, some dimensions here in the middle. I put some little marks there, and I can clean off the corners a little bit where that box is. So now I go around with the eraser and take away all the take away all the construction lines that I used, and the soft lines that I started with with the. Uh, with a 4B, the HB pencil. Okay. So that now we have a a pretty good representation of the drawing of a cup. Now, there's the picture in the cup side by side, and uh, we, I can bring it up a little closer. I have a close-up camera here. Oop. Gotta watch the uh, gotta watch the uh, focus there. That's about as close as I can get it without going out of focus. All right. So. Okay. Now that is not perfect, but it is the beginning of a drawing. Now you can go back later on and uh, you can smooth out the corners and you can do some other details. Uh, but today, tonight was just to get us started. This is the initial broadcast on simply drawing with Everett and I wanted to pick a subject and I wanted to show you some ideas here and I recommend it during the week I'll be back next Thursday at 7:30. at during the week uh, as you're sitting down at breakfast or when you're having a cup of coffee uh, or whatever then draw your cup or if you're having a cup of tea uh, sit there with your cup and your tea or your coffee 
or if you're drinking a, a glass of orange juice, then sit there with that object and draw it out. Just as you put it out in front of you, just like I have here in the diagram. Get your, get your pencils and your paper out and do a little sketch. Okay? So in, in the description of this, of the description of this uh, uh, video, I will have a link to uh, my Facebook page. And you can, if you want to post your drawing on my Facebook page, uh, you'll see the link there. It's called uh, Everett's, Everett's Watercolors uh, Art Group. Everest Watercolors Art Group. I'm, an, I'm a watercolor artist, but I love to draw because drawing is very important. So let's go back to my main camera. Okay. Okay, well, I, I, really, uh, I really hope you enjoy that and uh, share it with your friends. If you're, the, if you're the first one to look at it and you think it's uh, good, give me some thumbs up. Give me some comments. And, uh, oh, I love to share. That's one. Very nice. Uh, share it with your friends. Let them know that I'll be back again on Thursday. And uh, also uh, refer to this video. They can take a look at it. And I start off with a basic sketch. And uh, we'll go from there. But we'll learn from... We'll learn from drawing this how to apply some of the things we learned here. We'll, learn, we'll add it to another drawing. Uh, every, I think drawing is cumulative. If you learn how to draw something, then you can add it to something else later on. It's, it's very cumulative. And it's a very, very, uh, it's a creative relaxation. What I want to get across to everyone is a, to relax and we'll create together. So I'll see you next week uh, on Thursday at uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So bye for now.